Hello everybody. In this video, we will be talking about various analytical tests for testing the presence of carbohydrates. You all are aware of what exactly carbohydrate is. So a brief description is given at the top that they are the large class of organic compound which contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Right. So this video, I guess, will be useful for all the people who are going to, you know, give exams like GPAT, GATE or any other biotechnology, life science, chemistry or food related exam because this is a part of our biochemistry which is very integral for all the exam aspirants, right? Now moving ahead with the video, at the bottom of the screen, I have given a mnemonic which says mother of pen and bar cell bioferns. See, if you will just keep, you know, on speaking this for two to three times, if you repeat this mnemonic, you can clearly memorize all the given tests. That's how I did it, right? So, now, mother of pen and bar cell bioferns. Here, this MO stands for Molish test. This Ben stands for Bendix test. Bar stands for Barfoot's test. This cell stands for Selvinov's test and this bio stands for Biles, Iodine and Ozazone test. Okay. And at the last, this ferns stand for your Felix test. Okay. So that's how basically you're going to learn it and memorize it better for all the exams. Here you can see a clear comparative study of various tests which shows the observation and the inference of different tests. So I've tried to enlist almost uh, all the possible tests for carbohydrates which are usually used in our chemistry, biology and other labs. So here you can see what I've done is now we'll talk about each and every test in brief, right? So let's talk about the first test which is Mollish test. In the video you can clearly see I have mentioned the reagents okay like Mollish reagent then concentrated H2SO4 and sample solution in which you are testing the presence of a particular you know group like it's carbohydrate or it's reducing sugar whatever it is you are testing you will take that so basically I have tried to tell you all reagents which you will use then you can see a reaction which is there in the box and at the bottom I have also provided a mnemonic so, which I have given starting the mnemonic, if you will learn that, then you can clearly remember the names of the test, you know, which we used for testing the carbohydrate presence. But here, I have also given you mnemonic for every particular test so that it, you know, uh, becomes easier for you to learn what is the observation and what is the inference for the particular test. For Mollish test, the mnemonic is MVC. Here you can see clearly the mnemonic says MVC which stands for Mollish, V for Violet and C for Carbohydrate. So basically what happens in Mollish test is you get a violet color at the junction and the test confirms the presence of carbohydrate. So that's what basically this mnemonic helped you in. Next, Bendix test. In this test, as I will again mention the reagent, we will take Bendix solution, then the sample solution, then you will add it into hot water bath, right? And the reaction is given below. And again, the mnemonic for this particular test will be Ben Gray loves red, right? So see, Ben here stands, give you, you know, an idea of Bendix test. If you have remembered this, uh, you have memorized this mnemonic, you can get it like Ben stands for Bendix. Then this G stands for green, R for red, and Y for this yellow, right? And this red here stands for reducing sugar. So basically, it will help you in memorizing that Bendix. In the Bendix test, the color you get is green or red or yellow, and it tests the presence of reducing sugar. Ben Gray loves red. Next, we come to the Barfoot's test. For this, the mnemonic, mnemonic is boyfriend went blurred. This B stands for Barfoots. Blurred. In this blurred word, the BLU stands for blue. Then your R stands for red and RED stands for reducing sugar. Boyfriend went blurred. 
okay next is selvanov's test so here i have you know clearly mentioned and given a picture which shows the cherry red color in the test tube so when you will perform this particular test as a result you will get this cherry red color which will you know show the presence of ketones and again for the same the mnemonic is ram cells croc so this cell here is for selvanov and the cr stands for cherry red which is the color that you get while you perform the test and this ks stand for ketones which is the thing that you're going to show the presence of next we have bile's test for which the mnemonic is bina mp life is hell you all can relate to this very easily because you know th this here bi stands for bile's mb is for muddy brown and he is for hexos which says that in bile's test you get a muddy brown color and it shows the presence of hexos then comes the iodine test you all are quite aware of this test it's a very simple test and for this the mnemonic itself is very easy which says ibps with where i stands for iodine b for blue and ps for polysaccharide you know so it tells that while you're performing iodine test the color you get will be blue and the substance will which will be identified will be polysaccharide next is ozazone test for this test this mnemonic is quite long it's osaka's mushroom are sold in lakhs okay so here this o s a stand for ozazone mushroom because so you know the crystals that you get in this test are in the shape of mushroom and this lakh stand for lactose so in this test you will get this kind of crystals and the presence of lactose is c so now we have the last test for this particular video which is the felling's test in this test the mnemonic which i have given is ferrari is red in color which says fe for felling r for red and red for reducing sugar okay so to explain in the felling's test the color we get is red and it confirms the presence of reducing sugar okay so i hope this video is clear to you all and it completely serves its motive of making it simpler for you to learn and understand right so stay tuned on the channel and keep watching the videos we will be coming up with more and more videos like this thank you